Bro, I normally like, I normally don't react to or like have any necessarily opinion on on Melon's uh, uh, on his reviews because generally for the most part I am a huge fan of of Melon and even if I don't necessarily always agree with his takes I can confirm and I can at least say that he articulates himself well enough to understand. So like if you're looking from an impartial point of view, like you're not a stan of Anthony Fantano, you're not a stan of the artist that he's reviewing and potentially giving a negative review of. If you look at it from an unbiased in the middle point of view, even if you like an album, you can pretty much still understand where he's coming from because he articulates himself well enough as a reviewer. That's what that's part of what makes his video so entertaining and engaging. It's the fact that he's got he's got good takes, generally speaking. So when I saw when I saw the not necessarily outrage, I don't know if this is unreviewable one. I I don't know if this is just clickbait normally he's not that guy but sometimes he is so i honestly don't know i'm not this is my first time reviewing or reacting to a review and i know that's cringe and i normally wouldn't do it but i gotta see because i enjoyed this album follow us on stream i actually reviewed this album on stream and i actually have this review live on the channel so if you want to see my take on it uh it's there it's a first reaction and review also if you want to completely see the complete uncut reaction that we did on stream consider joining patreon it's uploaded in full over there uh but i mean this is, un this is uncharted waters for me so let's get the fuck on let's get the fuck on this is completely unreviewable trash and here's why question what is even the purpose of a all right i mean it's not clickbait just based on the first fucking comment oh man uh, that when i do a music review i hope to achieve a couple of things one give the viewer pause and cause them to think about why it is they do or don't like the piece of music or art that i valid this is exactly what i'm talking about like it causes you pause to be like oh you know what maybe i can see why people don't like it and at the end of the day, Melon's opinion is his opinion. My opinion is my opinion. Your opinion is your opinion. It's art. There is no fact. Two, excite people to give the music that I'm talking about a try. Those are the two things I want to do. Problem, neither of the- Bro, Melon has a fucking mission statement, dog. Do I need a mission statement? That shit is kind of gas, low key. Problem, neither of those goals are possible in any scenario that involves reviewing this album. Newsflash, since 2022, Kanye has made it his mission to go full-on anti-Semite, spouting insane conspiracy theories, talking about how he loves Hitler, and at some point, I think he realized how much he fucked up with all of that, so now he has to own this total dumpster fire he's created and boast about how people think he's anti-Semitic now, because because yeah, they do. I'm taking in everything he's saying, right? And I get what he's saying. I don't know if this is his basis for his argument that he's anti-Semitic and we can no longer we can no longer separate art from artists. Hundred percent understand. And I even said it in the intro of my video. I think I think I said I'm Kanye is making it extremely difficult to be able to separate art from artists. Yeah, I don't I don't know what to expect from this. Kanye's you know it's bad. I'm someone who can generally separate the art from the artist, but Kanye these days makes it so fucking difficult i don't even think if you gave me a hundred bucks to meet kanye i'm pretty sure i wouldn't even wouldn't even want to i'd be like let me do you a favor you go ahead and keep that i'm gonna go about my day but i'm someone who enjoys music and enjoys art there, there's probably plenty of artists out there that i enjoy that if i knew their inner workings of their mind and i knew what goes on behind the scenes and the shit that they say when they're not in front of camera they're probably not the most likable people which is why they say you don't want to meet your idols there's shit that's said behind the scenes that you will never know and your favorite person that you review or their favorite person that you listen to might be kind of a terrible person money tends to do that it's not a can of worms a guy like Kanye is capable of closing, not without help from someone who is willing to tell him no, but he spent this same period of time pushing away anybody who could possibly do that at this point. Especially his wife, who he has now replaced with somebody who he just like kind of parades around like she's a naked body with no personality, opinion, or voice. Something that- He does do that, and that is weird as fuck. And the fact that she looks exactly like him and to some degree in some instance, definitely kind of strange. That on some level I think he's weirdly proud of, as on the very lyrics to this record, calls her just a reference, which is maybe one of the grossest and most dehumanizing things Kanye has said about a woman on any of his songs. I actually fucked with that line in the review. I was like, God damn. Again, it's all subjective. So he's taking it as like, I don't like Kanye's stance. So maybe I have a negative connotation of everything that he says. But in my mind, being called a reference 
And when I think of reference, I think of reference of like art, art, like paintings, Renaissance paintings, paintings in general. And I think of a reference as someone who's like beauty is so high. She is worthy of being drawn and painted like painstakingly weeks on end. You're the reference for this painting that someone devoted two years of their life creating. That's what I thought of when I heard the fact that he called it a re that called her a reference. I was like, damn, it's a fire ass compliment. And who knows? Who knows who's right? Am I right? Is he right? Are we both right? Also, calling a woman a bitch, calling a woman a slut, calling a woman a cunt. I personally think that these are way more offensive things than being called a reference. Has left him with an interesting mix of fans. One, hateful psychos that actually agree with some of the stuff that he's been saying and are actually in my Twitter mentions theorizing that I'm a Jew and that's the reason I don't really <laughs> like uh, his recent music. That type of shit is funny to me. Maybe my, maybe my skin is too thick to the point where nothing really bothers me. Like if I got that, I mean, nobody's gonna, if people People called me a wet bat because I dislike Kanye's album and Kanye's fans are coming at me racistly. That shit is funny to me. I don't know why. It's like, damn, you're obviously triggered to the point where you, the only thing that you can resort to is calling me a name of like what people degrade Hispanics as. Got him. I'm under your skin where I wanted to be. Two, anonymous nihilistic teenagers that don't really think anything he says or does has any greater consequence in the Those world. Those are annoying. And I'm assuming that's going to be like the people uh, that Childish Gambino's because of the internet. That entire storyline is based on an, that type of teenager who just wants to watch the world burn. Those kids are annoying. Like, I'm, I'm in my 30s. I think Fantano's in his 30s, if I'm not mistaken. Like, we're beyond that in our lives. It's one of the things that I think about when I think about streaming, like being a streamer or stream, being a streamer in my 30s. Uh, I'm like, damn, all these streamers that are popping off and blowing up, it's because they do shit that's mad annoying, but kids don't realize it's mad annoying because they're kids. And three, cultish weirdos who parasocially obsess over him and everything he does and would basically follow him to the ends of the earth. Keep in mind, these individuals have always been in his fan base to some. This is an interesting one for Fantano, in my opinion. A lot of people watching this right now, potentially. Y'all might fit that same exact description, but instead of it being Kanye, it's Anthony Fantano. The reason the word Stan exists is because of people that follow these people in the way that they do. And Anthony Fantano and his fan base is not is not immune to that, I guess you could say. I watch his streams, I, I watch his videos, and I read comments. A lot of times it is a hive mindset. Uh, whatever he likes, he y'all like. Whatever he doesn't like, you don't like. So yeah, the, the, I, I was expecting this comment, and I think it's interesting for Fantano fans to be hearing this from him because it's like you're looking in the mirror but you don't even realize that it's a mirror in front of you. They've openly rejected any good faith effort I've made to uh, make them aware of Kanye's downward spiral into Nazi adjacent rhetoric and now imagery in the promotion of this record. The point is there's no hope of having any level-headed conversation with somebody who is like deep into the Kanye fandom at this point. Again, fair take. I understand where he's coming from. He's already a person that, at least this is what I assume about Anthony Fantano, and this would be a dope-ass debate, in my opinion, for me and Fantano. Not that I'm the size of somebody who would get a Fantano link-up, but still, we have differing opinions on this album, and I think the main root cause of it is exactly what he said earlier. I feel like Anthony is at a point where he cannot disassociate the art from the artist because Kanye, the artist, has done some crazy shit in the last four years. Said some crazy shit, done some crazy shit, and it's just like, to a point, unforgivable. And I understand Anthony Fantano in that sense. That might influence his his opinion of the music. Not saying that it will, but it might. What am I supposed to do? Tell the Jews in my audience, oh, come on, man, he, he didn't mean it. It's not so bad. He's just a little crazy. That's all, especially since he's not doing anything to gain forgiveness. He is very apparently valid points. Then I guess I guess is that is that my bad for not necessarily not feeling that strongly or not feeling like Kanye. I feel like Kanye fucked up. But is it my bad for reviewing the music even after he said these things? I, I, I don't know. Do I enjoy music more than the things that he said? Is that, Am I a bad person for that? Is everybody that listens to this album a bad person for that? I don't blame Melon, though, because his platform is much larger than mine. Is he giving it a platform? Does he feel like he's selling out? Anthony Fantano, he's like, I got this platform that I know that I have to do good with. Do I feel like I'm selling out just to listen to this album to give my opinion when my own personal, you know, more morals are larger than that and my morals should matter more to an audience of millions more than the actual album review does maybe i didn't think about that because my audience is smaller who knows uh, separate the art from the artist come on now you can't separate this crap from the music because it's in the music i gotta read him now the king thing 
I mean, I could see the double entendre between the king Jesus and the king of of music, the king of rap, crazy bipolar anti semite. That's a quote, so that's not him directly saying it. It's referencing who said it about him. I'm gonna come through and just black out, just black out, keep a few Jews on the staff now. Obviously talking about lawyers. Again, how am I anti-Semitic? I just fucked a Jewish bitch. That line is hilarious to me for some reason. I do understand that that line can be taken as offensive, especially when he hasn't made a straight apology or an apology that's worthy of anything. I do see that. Uh, so I didn't even consider that in my review. I just fucked Scooter's bitch and we ran her like Olympics. I don't know if that's necessarily him saying it because I don't even know. Is Scooter Braun Jewish? I don't think that was necessarily a dig at him being a Jewish person. I think that's just a lot of people are leaving Scooter Braun's label because of the shit that the way that he acts. So I think that this just might be Kanye taking a dig at Scooter just be just because really the only one that like I and it's who am I to have a problem with it? I'm not Jewish, but really the only one where I might like backtrack is the how am I anti-Semitic? I just fucked the Jewish bits because that is honestly without a proper apology for the shit that he said that could honestly be a little of offensive, obviously. I think this comment here pretty much sums things up. Uh, we don't care as long as the album is good. His personality and what he says doesn't matter to me. I only care about the music. How do you penetrate this level of self-imposed ignorance? This person is not listening to Kanye. He's not listening to anything I or anyone has to say about Kanye. And this comment was posted after the album was released, so he's apparently not even listening to the content of the music that he supposedly cares so much about. So this argument about, I only care about the music, can't possibly be true. Especially since the music too is shit. The song Paid is one of the most unintentionally hilarious tracks I think Kanye has ever put out. It's just a crappier version of Fade. Why wouldn't you just listen to Fade? You'd have to be delusional to think anything else, especially with this trash ass verse from Ye. And Ty Dolla Sign on it is just amazing, uh, saying that uh, he's just here to get paid. <laughs> At least he's honest. Anthony doesn't strike me as the type of guy to know that that is a reference to Marshawn Lynch, so I don't know how valid this this lyrical content breakdown is. If you read this straight up without knowing the reference, I'm just here to get paid. Like, I can understand how this is just repetitive in its nature, uh, but seeing how sports and music, especially rap, are extremely synonymous with each other, Drake said that we want to be them and they want to be us. Ty Dolla Sign repeating, I'm just here to get paid when Marshawn Lynch did the same exact thing in a very high profile interview because he literally has to have that interview in order to get paid or he'll get fined for not doing the interview. He literally just repeated the same phrase over and over. I'm just here so I don't get fined. It's essentially the same line as this. Um, So it's literally a dig at that. Not a dig at that, but a reference to that. I don't know if Antano knows that. I don't even know if that makes a difference to him in his review of this line, but that's just how I take it. Then back to me with that Jay and Silent Bob chorus has to be one of the dumbest things I've heard on any Kanye album ever. I feel like I'm- <laughs> Beautiful but naked women don't just fall out the sky, you know? That shit is so gas. It is stupid. It's stupid, but it's catchy. I'm being punked. But naked, beautiful, big titty bitches don't, don't just fly out of the sky, you know? Shout out, shit's gas. <laughs> Then Hoodrat has maybe one of the most excruciatingly bad instrumentals on any Kanye album. I do agree. I did say that Hoodrat is ass on my first listen. Drowns out all the other stuff about the track. So <laughs> that's kind of a silver lining. But almost none of that matters. But if you really want a general assessment of this thing, it sounds like a slightly more finished Donda 2. I honestly thought the shit did sounded nice production wise, and I said it in my video. And this just this is just the thing with this with this minute this video seven minute long, seven minutes long, and five minutes is talking about how repulsive Kanye is as a human being. Like how much of this portion of the review is unbiased. It's like one of those where if the album's unreviewable, why are we reviewing it in the last two minutes you just spent five minutes telling me about why it's unreviewable because kanye is a monster and it's it's legitimate legitimate points being made but obviously it puts an asterisk on these last two minutes of what he thinks of the album the rest of the vultures series from this point is not looking good but yeah that's all i have to say thank you bye respect it fantano
I respect the position. I respect, again, this is why I enjoy Anthony Fantano's reviews because while I disagree with him on the music, uh, I honestly thought it was a good album. I think that it's very dark. I think that it's very, you know, some lyrics are crude, but when has Kanye not done that? Motherfucker said, I could focus on two things at once. Your titties proved that to me. It's kind of Kanye's humor style lyrically to throw these shit lyrics in there, which is why I always say multiple times, only Kanye. It's not like it's a bad lyric. It's a intentionally bad lyric I, in my personal opinion. And that's what I feel like. So I get what he's saying. I completely respect his opinion. But again, the review in the last two minutes is definitely asterisk by ev asterisk. Is that even a word? By everything that he said in the first five. And that's a completely understandable position. Kanye is a horrible person. Maybe he can blame it on manic bipolar disorder. Maybe he can't. Maybe it's like when someone's drunk and someone said something that they only let out because they're drunk and the and the guard is down. Maybe Kanye's bipolar disorder is the same thing about things he's already thinking. Uh, if you can't separate the art from the artist, I fully intend, I fully expect you to have this same exact same exact reaction to Kanye putting out new music. But some of the things, in my opinion, in this, some of the lyrical breakdown, I guess you could say, in my opinion, is misplaced. Uh, I don't think that Kanye meant it as a degrading term to his wife. But yeah. And then the I'm just here to get paid is obviously a reference to something that maybe he didn't understand. Uh, but yeah, didn't change my mind about the album. I knew everything that Kanye had done before going into the album, but Kanye's up there with Michael Jackson's. Did people stop jamming Michael Jackson's album whenever he was up for on those trials? Do people not recognize Kobe as one of the greats when he was up for those trials? To this day, people jam the remix to Ignition. To this day, people jam Step in the Name of Love. I don't know how to explain it. Does that make those people bad people? Does it make me a bad person to personally want to hear what Kanye's creative mind is doing? Take that as you will. It's, it's your opinion to have on me, but it's not going to change my opinion or who I am.